Welcome back guys. So we're doing some more tweaks to the diner again. So I've got the saddlebags off. Um, before I show you guys what I'm busy with and why I'm busy with that, let me just show you the trim ring. I got that powder coated, came out pretty awesome. If you guys don't remember in the last video, if you saw it, you would have seen this was all scratched up. So the previous people didn't do the the do it the right way they didn't remove the chrome so when it scratched up you could actually see the chrome was underneath so what we had to do was uh sandblast it and then powder coat it so that came up pretty nice that's just some dirt over there there we go so yeah that came out freaking awesome so back to what the video is about um we're busy with the rears took the saddlebags off uh we are busy changing out the lights so what happened is I wanted to do this, but uh, not right now. Um, but I don't know what happened. Uh, while I was riding the bracket, because of the saddlebags, there's an extension little bracket that we had to put on here. And that actually cracked. Let's, let's just go grab that and show you guys. These are the new brackets that I've made for it. And here's the old bracket. And you can see there, it actually snapped off. So the light, was dangling and rubbing against the wheel and stuff. But besides that, it was already, um, this wasn't from me now. The light was, when I got the bike, was like that. Uh, and I wanted to change it out. Besides that, was annoying the heck out of me. I wanted to get some blacked out lights because, nah, we need, we need some blacked out lights to go on, yeah. Um, so I have removed the saddlebags, as you can see. Once again, parcel in again from Dean's Custom, Customs, sorry, uh, let's, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one-handed, okay, no, you know what, let me quickly take out the bubble wrap and then we'll open the box together. Alright, so there's all the bubble wrap, one thing that I like about Dean's Custom is they really go and uh, package their stuff well, so things don't get damaged during transport, okay, let's open up this sucker, have a look inside. Please. Okay. Let's get one of these guys out of here. Yeah. Let's do this so we don't scratch her up. There we go. Damn, that's nice. Compared to that, that's gonna look sick. Let's do a quick looky. Oh yes, please. Thank you very much, sir. Now these are a two in one, so they do have your um, running lights. So the red running lights, they got brake lights and indicator lights all built in. Man, perfect, perfect. Now this is gonna look awesome. So I'm gonna try and get this on and uh, hopefully in this video, I want to get it on in this video. We will get it on in this video. Let's stick these guys on and see what it looks like with these new uh, rear lights on. I'll see you guys in a moment. So we're busy still with the installation, but I just put it on up quickly just to check how it's gonna look. Oh man, that is freaking awesome. So, so, so much better. Oh man, I'm super happy with the way this is gonna look. I mean, look how massive that thing looks. That's gonna look sick. Let's let's check out the side profile here. Let's get a little bit lower. Oh man, that's gonna look fantastic. And take a look at the old light. The shape and everything, I, I like the bullet style, so that's why I like that one. Just, this is obviously in a much smaller form. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly put the wires together. I just wanna see if I have the wiring right. And if it is, then, uh, yeah, then we're going to start doing some wiring just so we can see how she looks. And then obviously it's going to be trimming the wires, cutting the wires a bit shorter, uh, wrapping them up so that you don't have all these colors. So there's a little bit of work to be done. Let's get going. All right, so we got, <laughs> it's a little bit of a mess there. We just want to test it out, make sure that it's all working the way it's supposed to be working. But uh, there you can get a feeling of what it looks like. So that's the, I just want to figure out how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Can you guys see this if I do it like this? I don't know. Okay. 
let me we'll do it like that so those are the standard running lights now let's put on the indicator quickly can we do this yeah let's try i should be able to there we go there's the indicators and then let me actually turn the wheel ah this is the wheel <laughs> All right, and then let's check out those brake lights. Do you want the key to fall? Brake lights. Nice. So, all is working as intended. Super stoked. Time to do wiring. Oh, damn, let's get going. Let's get going. But uh, wait, before I get going, let, please let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you guys think this new light looks dope? I think it looks freaking dope. Uh, it's not so... I mean, look how far that sticks out. I mean, this is super stealthy. So nice, man. Let me know what you guys think. The new light or the old light? Let me know in the comments before, below. Let me know what you guys prefer or like. I already know where this is going to go. I mean, just the blacked out alone, that... that that looks sick. That looks sick. Let's go. All right, so we've got both lights off now. And uh, we've got both new brackets on there. Took out the old bracket. I know only the one had broken, but um, I took out the old bracket as well on the right-hand side that hadn't broken. I thought, since I'm making one bracket, I might as well make two brand new brackets. Because if one cracked, I never know what might happen to this one. Uh, when I bought the bike, it had whoever made this was already done. So... I don't know if the, this might crack in the future, so I just took safety precautions. So both sides, we've already stripped the wire there so that we've got a connection point. And that side, obviously, you guys have seen. So we are on track. Yes, let's go. Last step, we need to mount the lights on. But I've actually taken the, I'm going to take the lights with me to work. So this is, you're going to see this in one video but it's going to be probably a two-day process for me because the i don't obviously if you didn't see but uh the threaded part was sticking out quite close to the rear fender over here and i didn't like that so i want to cut it slightly a bit shorter the threaded part so that we don't have it so far out it'll still be long enough but yeah i just don't want it to be anywhere close to that fender and scratch it up so yeah let's go next step carry on and we are done finally with the street bob so i'm pretty pretty stoked with the way that those rear lights came out man these things look good so i've removed the bags for now the side bags but i'll probably land up putting them back on they do come in handy uh so I'll, just for a change up i just left them off for now but i think they look super sick with the new rear indicator lights let's put on the hazard so you guys can check the lights out uh, there we go super super stoked with the way these guys came out man i think they look freaking epic what do you guys think compared to these big ass bulky things that i had before especially being blacked out man I, I, I think they look super dope. So much more streamlined, man. The Harley is looking freaking epic. Did you guys see the Daymaker video that I put up not too long ago? If you guys haven't, I'll put a link for that video below where I did the headlight and I did the front indicators. If you guys have missed that, let me put those front indicators on for you to see super super stealthy man all right guys i think that's it for this video i am so so happy the way that these turned out i cannot complain one single bit and dean's customs thank you so much great great products i'm super happy with the service that I got from Muse and the quality of these lights. Thanks so much. I'll put a link to their store down below as well in my description. Guys, that's it from me, The Urban Man, signing out. See you in the next one. Cheers for now.